Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie. Welcome back to my channel. So, I am bringing you all kinds of festival-y vibes today. I promised myself that I was gonna branch out and step outside of my comfort zone and try some more, like, more advanced hairstyles. I know that I usually come through with a quick, simple, and easy. This one, definitely not something that was quick, but it's fairly simple. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I achieved this look. Before we get started, please, if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time a new video goes live. All right, and now that you're subscribed, let's get on into this tutorial. All right, so I am starting with a crazy, like, semi-dry fro. It's about, like, 80% dry right now. So I'm just gonna start by kind of spraying my hair with my DIY spray, which is just a mixture of conditioner and water, just to kind of add some moisture back to the hair and then just make it a lot easier to do all the parts. And then I'm just gonna part it straight down in the middle. Okay, so I just clipped up one side to keep that out of the way. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do like the first part. So for the first part, I kind of wanted it to be like right here, like directly behind the ear and kind of upwards. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and secure this first section. I am looking all kinds of crazy right now. <laughs> But um, I'm going to brush this up. I really want this look to be really sleek and neat and just like flawless. So what I like to reach for when I'm looking for like a super sleek, like slick back look, I always love to use my Curl Maker by Camille Rose. This is bomb. The hold is amazing. It's going to be a little stiff, but your hair is going to look shiny, sleek, and it's not going to move. All right, so I'm just twirling my ends here, trying to keep these ends out of the way like while we do the rest of the hairstyle. Um, so next, I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat this same thing on the other side. I can't get over this curl maker, you guys. It ran out for me like a long time ago and I just bought some more and wow, I missed it. Look at that. All right, so now that we've got our first two parts, I'm just gonna go ahead, again, repeat the same process and create the other two parts on each side. All right, so the hard part is over. I think it's just difficult to get all the parts like in the right spot, but once you've got all of your three little sections on each side, the hard part's over. So now all you have to do is twist the ponytails into each other. So I'm just gonna twirl this back and then twist it back into the other one and then twist that one back into the other one. Once I get to the final ponytail, I'm just gonna go ahead and secure it with another hair clip. All right, so we'll fix this part in a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and twist back the other side. Okay, so here's how we're looking so far. Now we gotta fix these. The lengths are gonna look a little funny just because we've twisted the other hair into the other hair. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray it and then comb some curl maker through to see if we can get these to blend better. Okay, so because the lengths look a little funky in the ponytails at the back, 
We're gonna go ahead and just kind of tuck the hair under and secure it with a hair tie to create like a little mini bun. So first I'm just gonna twirl. Then I'm taking the ends, tucking it under and then just gonna secure it with a hair tie. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Same thing on the other side. All right, I'm like really liking how cute this is coming out. Just something really different. Okay, so next I'm gonna take some gold clips, you know, the ones that I always like to use from Amazon. It just always switches up the look. Y'all already know how I feel about these. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place them over the hair ties that we have in the hair, just to hide them and just add a little bit more pizzazz to this look. Boom! The gold clips every time just make a world of a difference. All right, so last but certainly not least, we are gonna go ahead and lay these edges. I'm also gonna use the curl maker for this. I love the curl maker because it's not as thick as a regular edge control, but it still gives you that amazing hold and amazing shine for your edges. So I'm just gonna spray my edges first with my DIY spray and then apply the curl maker and then use my brush to design my edges. That is it for this look, you guys. So this is a great alternative for people like me who do not know how to French braid their own hair. Like this is something that you can do to still kind of get the little French braid vibe without having to know how to French braid. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.